hold on. I found something really cool yesterday. Uh, let's see if I can find it again. Was it a Schweeb? A Schweeb? Schweeb. Oh, no. I spelled That's it wrong. That's that area in, in Ottawa, isn't it? No, 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 no. Oh, um, Schweeb Design. What the hell is a Schweeb? I, I don't know if it was a Schweeb. It was this w really cool idea for, like, future mass transit. Um, oh, no way. Fuck. It, you know what? The one problem with Google Plus is it's so hard to find shit again in yep. the stream because there's so much stuff. And oh, let's introduce hashtags and they don't work. No, nobody <laughs> uses even, them. Nobody uses them because it's yeah. not fucking Twitter. No, I know. But nobody thinks to, to use it. I've been adding it on our posts for the uh, podcast. You know, if, if there's a topic that someone's interested in. Maybe they're typing it and searching it. And I think some people are using it, but it's just not its not in wide use. Hold on. No. I'm going to actually have to do a... No, oh, and then you know on, on to... Twitter, it's used, but it sucks. <laughs> the search sucks. So much. Uh, well, okay. Go before all the Air Canada stuff. Uh, before Pet Sound. Oh, shit. Older. So I'm trying to find... Because it was yesterday morning I was looking at this. Okay. This isn't that guy that wants to start his own airline, is it? No, 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 no. It's better than or that. I mean, it's, it's it's so it's so out there that it's it's impossible, but it's actually a really fucking good idea. Oh yeah. And let me just try. Okay, before mind transfer, getting close. Mind transfer. Before tungle. Before all right, older. Where it's is before it? anal buck plugs. Before dot com. Before triple X. Nuns. Dot org. Will you stop talking like that? It's giving me the creeps. <laughs> Recumbent. Schweeb. It's called Schweeb. Schweeb.com. S H W E E B. Okay. So, yeah, so as our first uh, thing in. in for you we'll have do a, the feature, hat. a feature idea? Feature. Your feature idea. The feature idea is tip of the hat, kick to the. Oh, just fuck you. So, what is your, what is your tip of the hat? Tip of the hat, you know what? I love ideas that are fucking so out there that they're probably never going to happen, but they're so goddamn exciting that you want one like on your street. And I found this website. Uh, someone posted it on G Plus uh, uh, yesterday, actually, and it's called the Schweeb. The Schweeb Monorail Technology, S H W E E B dot com. And holy fuck, what a cool idea. Are you serious? Well, what the hell is this? Google invests well, in it, too? So basically, you're in a tube, like they they have at those banks where they want to. No, 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 no. Because those are pneumatic. These are these are these are powered with your. This these are pedal powered. Oh, they're pedal powered. Okay. What's cool so it's is not it, it's, air that's pushing you. No, no, it's you're pushing you. You're on like a monorail thing, so there's very little friction. The things are sort of pill shape, uh -huh, which makes them which make them aerodynamic. They had a crotch shot where you. Yeah. Were I know. Like, <laughs> well, <laughs> I leg, couldn't. The legs are like. Right here, and you're like facing forward, and you just yeah. I couldn't ride that in a kill. I'm her vagina. <laughs> oh my god, they keep showing it. This is awesome. Anyway, <laughs> so like right now they've just got them as a they've set it up as a race course. Mm -hmm. But the idea is that it could be, um, the idea is that you could actually do like sort of mass transit with them. They they go into the the, the, <laughs> oh, the details about how it would work. And the idea is that you don't have to pedal very hard to go like 25. Oh yeah. Like 25 kph. Um, oh, that's cool. And what happens is when someone comes up, like if someone's going too slow, mm -hmm. the other person comes up behind, and there's a buffer, like there's um, there's like, they got these bumpers on yeah. them, and they and so they, they hit, can push and like, along. No impact, and yeah. then the person behind pushes the person in front. Nice. That's cool. Uh, so it's, no, it's so pretty you, neat. You, that's, you can that's end up with awesome. trains. I mean, it's a it's a fucking amazing idea. Who's going to implement the infrastructure? I don't fucking know. You know what? I think more European men would probably move out of their homes if they had one of those set up like in front of their house or their apartment, and then going to their their parents' house who just live up the street <laughs> for, dinner, for dinner that night. You know, it's like I still get a little bit of exercise, and I can still eat mama's pasta. But they've got it all figured out. Basically, you get out of the thing, it gets put off on another rail, and then they they uh, sanitize it. They basically no, no, they they sanitize it first. So it's like oh, a quick wow. it's like a quick spray down. And because it's so the parts are so simple, there's like it, the idea is it's quite easy to sterilize, mm -hmm. and then it's ready for the next 
person. And then you actually have station employees too sometimes moving because in the morning you have like a lot of them going into the city but you still need a few you need someone driving a few back just so that there's some there if someone needs to go back and forth during the day. Yeah. But it's um I mean the thing is this would never benefit someone like <laughs> me because I don't live I mean, <laughs> all the Portuguese cleaners have to come back home again so they're the ones that are bringing <laughs> they're bringing it home so that the next, you know, 10 people can come back into the city. Yeah. But yeah, I mean I, this is this is total total like I can't see this ever happening. Like these guys are really sort of optimistic. I can't mm -hmm. see this ever happening, but I want it to happen. No, that's pretty neat. It's it's a great idea. I think I think they should start small. You know, maybe put they them have them, on they like... have like race courses, and they're they're doing it for like tourist areas, like amusement parks and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, I think okay. an amusement park that has one. I was thinking X immediately. You know that that ride that would take you from one end to the other. That the yeah. exhibition yeah 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 exactly that would it's, be that, would, it, be that awesome. would be a neat way to sort of you know try it out see how it uh, how it is you know you came in this entrance way uh, ride this all the way to the other end and then just walk back because you're gonna except go back how there. would that go along with the exhibition's um, sort of policy of everything being sort of grungy and dirty <laughs> well they just won't sanitize it right 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 so, so that basically because like there shouldn't be anything at the x that you can get into that doesn't smell at least vaguely of urine just uh just let the homeless people sleep in it uh, <laughs> <laughs> when the uh, the park's closed problem solved okay so that was the tip of the hat the oh just fuck you for this week are is is the fucking media that gave almost no coverage i mean comparatively speaking gave almost no coverage to that natural gas explosion in indiana this week Nobody and why don't we show that? Why don't we show the photo for that? So they don't know. It looks like they don't know what it what it was. Okay. Okay. So they don't know what the explosion was. There's some there's some thought that this might be it might be a natural gas explosion. Apparently they've ruled out a bomb or a meth lab. So I don't know if you remember in Toronto in the I think it was the 1980s there was like a gas explosion at a house. Uh, I think it was on Mortimer, and someone there was a, a gas leak or something. Someone rang the doorbell and the fucking house exploded. Holy shit! The doorbell was miswired, and there was a gas leak. And just you know, kaboom! Nobody, nobody ever says we've got to stop using gas. Mm -hmm. You never, you don't hear that. I mean, I haven't fucking ever heard that. We, we got to stop using doorbells. So, so basically, we got to stop using doorbells. Doorbells are dangerous. Um, but, th but this is the thing. This is the fuck you. This is the you know fuck you to the media for not covering this stuff the same way you cover nuclear. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, fine, like, I get it, nuclear, oh, we have to, you know, we have to fucking have a story so that we can sell papers. Well, you know, fuck you. Yeah. Do well, it for everything then. Do it for everything then. And then we can all get desensitized to it and go, oh, well, you know, we can't, we can't really trust. Then we'll see that we can't really trust the media to. Here's the thing, though. The media has somebody to blame with nuclear power. Yeah. Uh, if it's somebody's house that blew up, they they blame the people that are dead, so that doesn't look good on them, you know, because they yeah, bought well, it. They didn't go to they didn't go to oil. They went with natural gas. So, I don't know. I don't think I don't think they're doing that. But I mean, like I mean, we sure, don't know you could blame sure. the company that sold look, it. We to don't them. know for sure that this is a natural gas explosion, but no, okay. But let's say but, that it was. But let's say like, that it was. When and show, show the image, show the image, like the hue and cry in the media is about. How small doses of radiation may like have a tiny, tiny, tiny chance of increasing your chance of getting cancer. Whereas, well, natural gas will it just blows up your fucking house, right? You know, it doesn't. It doesn't irradiate your house. It just fucking blows it up and kills you. Yeah. Um, and cake. Goes and maybe everywhere. this turns out not to be natural gas, but there have been other natural gas explosions that have killed people. Yes. So why are you bringing this up? Did someone say something about nuclear power? No, no. I mean, it's just that like this is not getting the same coverage. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Like they're just saying, "Oh, well, it you know this shit happened." Basically, the thing is like this is they they go they go with the story, "Oh, an explosion and this and people are dead," but they don't they don't f go along to, "Okay, well, this thing is now really really dangerous." Right. I think there's good argument for using nuclear over nuclear over natural gas. There are times when you if you're going to use thermal, natural gas is better in terms of greenhouse emissions than say coal or oil, or or um any of the other things that that we use in terms of fossil fuels mm -hmm. so I'm not trying to poo poo it that way right. but I'm just saying that you need th th these things are not being looked at through the same lens and it's fucking pissing me off mm -hmm. like either have a shit about everything mm -hmm. or say like with with Fukushima 
like there was a natural disaster and this shit happened and yeah. we're going it, to it's funny because like that happens and like okay we're going to find ways of preventing this in the future a fucking uh uh natural gas power station blows up and it's like well shit a natural gas power station blew up not like we're going to find ways of making the safer or we're going to spend extra money to make these safer in the future you never fucking hear that right so it just it's it just this is this is inequality and it fucking baffles me and it makes me want to say just fuck you <laughs> just FYI you've gone all blocky on me now oh have I? yeah is your camera <laughs> Mr. Roboto yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know no. hopefully whatever is being sent to YouTube still looks okay um, went and saw Cloud Atlas and uh you know that movie where the same actors play like different characters? Yeah, yeah. I heard. I saw Tom Hanks uh, shilling it on uh, Colbert. Oh yeah, was was he good on it? Halloween episode? He's was really good. Funny. He's he's really good at uh, interviews. He always brings something. Uh, it wasn't an interview. He was. It was. It was a bit. He did a bit. Oh, he did a bit. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It's funny. I mean, yeah. I gotta say. I mean, as much as I think Tom Hanks is sometimes a bit of a sellout. I mean, <coughs> Da Vinci Code. Um, <laughs> He's he's good, yeah. He is actually a good actor. Mm -hmm. I hate to admit that with someone who's like super famous, but he's not. He he can do he can do a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, he's good. No, he's and he did he did in this movie. He played like like uh one two three four five six. I think there's six lines. Yeah, it's six, nice when a movie people. gives him a chance to actually be someone other than Tom Hanks. Only one of them. One of them. He had like he was playing this. Uh, he was playing this Cockney guy, and it was horrible. <laughs> Oh. Everybody else is great. All the other characters were pretty much the same, uh, except for the one in the way, way future. That was good because um, they, they had to make up a language um, because uh, English had evolved so much that oh, cool. they were sort of using... Oh, God, I can't explain it. Anyway, it was, it was, it was well made, but it's just it was such a bizarre story that I didn't really... Like, I'd have to see it again, but it's really, really... Uh, it's shot really well. Like, the actors, there were really good performances from everybody. I don't think it's as confusing as some of the uh, critics have been saying. It's easy. It's it's not that hard to follow. Uh, it just jumps in time. And once you figure out what, what time period everybody's in, it sort of makes sense. And you forget the fact that, okay, the same actors are playing different people. You sort of... You know, like that could be distracting where it could take you out of the... It happens all the time in theater. I don't know yeah. why it would be distracting in film. Exactly. I don't know. I, I enjoyed it. I, I didn't mind it. It wasn't the greatest film I've ever seen, but it was definitely something different. Tip of the hat to... Tip of the, the hat. Uh, to the Wachowski yeah. siblings. And, uh, cool. Do you have, a, um, do you have a, um, a kick to the, oh, well, just fuck you? Um, I thought I did. Because when you brought it up, I thought maybe you were going to Canadian shitports. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong national anthem. What's this? That's not even a national anthem. That's the music they play when you graduate. Disney buying Lucasfilm. Okay, here's here's what I tweeted when everyone was going fucking mad about that, which is like I know because I retweeted like, it. Oh no, Disney's Disney's going to ruin Star Wars. I'm like George Lucas is already fucking shit all over it. What the fuck? Jar Jar Binks? Could Disney seriously do anything worse than that? It's not about the deal. It's it's more like the people that are complaining, you know, about about why um, th why George Lucas did this. I think this is the smartest thing that he's ever done <laughs> with the series or anything with the franchise, whatever, anything. Even if he hinted, maybe we'll do a seven. People would have flipped out and they would have said, "Your other three sucked," you know. It was horrible, those first three movies. He knows that everybody hated those films, except for, like, little kids. I talk to people at work who are younger than us, who are, like, just turned 20. Yeah. And and they said, those films aren't so bad. And I want to punch them in the face. Because oh, my they God. Have, yeah. They're like, they awful. Actually, they actually like them. Disney knows how to make kids' movies. If George Lucas has said since Jedi... We're making a kids' movie. Han, Luke, and Leia are in their 60s at this point. They've had kids, and then those kids probably have. So they'll have grandkids, right? Yeah. So 
Disney, this is right up their alley. These kids are going to be amazing, <laughs> and the, I think Disney's going to be able to pull it off. Yeah, and they'll get Randy Newman to sing the new theme song. I was I was talking to some people at work and this girl goes, Isn't James Earl Jones too old to play Darth Vader? And I'm like, he's fucking <laughs> dead, you moron. He's dead. He's dead I at that actually... point. Yeah, it's it's well <laughs> And well, then not, she's like, not... James Earl Jones is dead? Not only that, <laughs> not not only that, but not only that, but like he just was the voice. It doesn't fucking matter. No, like... I know, I know. <laughs> Isn't he too old to and, play Darth and, Vader? And not only that, not only that, David Prowse was in a fucking suit. <laughs> you never <laughs> saw his goddamn face. Fuck. Yeah, I think that's that's all I have time for because uh, I gotta actually get some work done today. So mm -hmm. I will. Um, I was gonna say I will see you online, but that's not my line. That's your line. What do yeah. I say? Oh yeah, uh, peace out. Fuck off. All right, buddy. And I will see you in a galaxy far, far away. I see what you did there. You switched it up. You, you, you sort of switched it up. You kind of changed what you were doing. Hmm? That, was, that was kind of clever. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic, by the way. I, I know. Okay. Just, just so we're clear on that. Do, do, right. you, lo do you love me? I know. <laughs> When George Lucas first called me up to write a couple of songs for a new Star Wars movie, now I was tickled pink. Especially when he told me how much he liked the songs I did for a Toy Story and a Bug Life. <laughs>